Hey, it's Bill here. This is about how to connect a charger or a battery charger to a car battery. I had to read that. It's a lot of words. I couldn't remember it all. Anyway, it was something I want to talk to you about. Most battery chargers that you use at home, this is an old one I've had for years, but if you're going to go out and buy one, get one that's got like 2 amps and 10 amps because if a battery is dead, 10 amps is what you want to run it at. If the battery's charged and you want to maintain it, shut it down to 2 amps. And the other thing is this little amperage thing here, if, if you've got that set to 10 amps, it'll the bar over here is going to move all the way over. When it gets down oh, to about a 3 or 4 in that area, it means the battery's charged up and you can stop charging it. But here's the important thing. I never, ever, ever plug in the cord to live electricity until I have the connectors hooked up. Now, I'm going to show you these. This black one is the negative and your battery is the negative is the smaller post. The red one is the positive. That's the larger post. They've got them marked nowadays, so you want to make sure you get them on the right post. The other thing I don't do anymore, I hook one, uh, this one, the positive one to the positive post, which is the largest one, but I usually always hook the negative ground to someplace else on the engine. And the reason I do that is because batteries, especially the ones that can have water added to them, they put off, I think it's sulfuric acid or something, but Anyway, that stuff is explosive, and if you had a spark, it could explode on you. So you're better off hook one part to the battery, the other part over there. But here's the other thing, too, is I never plug in the battery charger until I have it all hooked up. So if I am going to put it terminals and terminals to the small terminal, this one, this one to the positive, to the big terminal, and I hook them up directly to the terminal, then I go over... And I do exactly what I just said here. Then I plug it in because I don't want any sparks. I do the same thing in reverse. When I stop using a battery charger, I pull this. And then I take loose the others. And I always do the positive and then the negative in that order. And the same thing in taking them loose. I'll take loose the negative, hold it in the air, and then undo the positive. So then you know on that, take care and have a great day.